Hunger is a way that the body signals to us that it needs energy and nutrients. Conveniently, the foods that best satisfy hunger are those that are nutrient dense as well. Talk about a one-two nutritional punch. The best way to satisfy hunger and increase fullness is to include foods high in filling macronutrients in each meal and snack. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today's video is about 10 foods to keep you full. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Number 10. Nuts. Nuts are a great snack option to help tide you over between meals. They're good sources of all three satiety boosters, protein, fiber, and healthy fats. In fact, one study found that mixed nuts promote satiety in overweight and obese adults while maintaining stable blood glucose and insulin levels. Point 10. They also have vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that help promote overall health. Walnuts These nuts are an excellent source of copper, a mineral that your body needs to produce enzymes involved in energy production and neurotransmitter synthesis. Macadamia nuts These nuts are high in healthy fats and lower in carbs than many nuts, making them a popular choice for those on low-carb diets. Number 9. Eggs. Eggs are a great source of high-quality protein, which can make for a filling food, as well as vitamins, minerals, and carotenoid antioxidants, which help protect our eye health. A large egg contains around 6 grams of protein, including all 9 essential amino acids, point 12 in fact. Research has shown that including eggs more frequently in our diets can promote greater satiety and significantly reduce short-term food intake. Point 13. One study suggests that consumption of eggs for breakfast results in less variation of plasma glucose and insulin, a suppressed ghrelin response, and reduced energy intake. Point 14. Try adding vegetables to a yummy egg omelet, such as spinach, mushrooms and broccoli to further help increase satiety and overall daily vegetable intake as well. Number 8. Fruits and Vegetables Fruits and vegetables are full of vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients. They're also high in fiber and water, which helps fill you up, yet they're low in calories. One study found that eating vegetables high in inulin, a type of fermentable dietary fiber that can improve good gut bacteria and provide health benefits, showed greater satiety and a reduced desire to eat sweet, salty, and fatty food. Point 15 yet another reason to include more veggies in your diet. Aim for 5 to 9 servings a day. Point 16 don't really like the taste? Try them in smoothies for a refreshing, delicious way to beat hunger and fuel up your body. Number 7. Fish. Many species of fish are caught by humans and consumed as food in virtually all regions around the world. Fish has been an important dietary source of protein and other nutrients throughout human history. Fish is a lean, healthy, filling protein source. The American Heart Association and the Dietary Guidelines 2015 to 2020 recommend at least two servings of fish per week, especially high-fat fish. One serving is equivalent to 3.5 ounces or 3 quarters cups of flaked fish. Fish not only provides us with bioavailable protein, but is a great source of omega-3 fatty acids. These healthy fats are great for heart protection and for lowering inflammation in the body. Number 6. Whole Grains a growing body of research shows that choosing whole grains and other less processed, higher quality sources of carbohydrates and cutting back on refined grains improves health in many ways. For a closer look at carbohydrates, check out our carbohydrate guide. Whole grains, such as brown rice, whole wheat bread, and whole wheat pasta, are linked to weight control and maintaining a healthy weight. Point four, this could be due to the fiber, nutrients, and plant compounds found in whole grains. They can increase the feeling of satiety and help you consume fewer calories at a time. Whole grains are also good for our overall health and tend to help achieve a healthy weight more consistently than refined grains. Number 5. Greek Yogurt Greek yogurt is a protein-rich dairy product that's high in many nutrients like vitamin B12, calcium, and selenium. But, its nutritional value and health benefits can vary depending on the brand you choose. I like to recommend Greek yogurt over regular yogurt since it's much higher in protein and therefore keeps you fuller for longer. 
it's important to try to choose varieties that are low in added sugars. Adding fruits such as peaches or strawberries will provide the necessary sweetness with the added benefits of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and fiber. Toppings like low sugar granola or nuts can also provide some added fiber as well as punching up the satiety factor. Number 4. Red Chili Pepper Capsaicin is a component of red chili peppers that give them their pungent taste. There's evidence that capsaicin increases the sensation of fullness and decreases the desire to eat. Point eight red chili pepper can be ingested orally or in capsule form. However, the decrease in food intake seems to be more significant when red chili pepper is ingested orally. Try sprinkling some in your salads, stews, soups, and sandwiches. Number three, oatmeal. Oats have been known for thousands of years. The earliest evidence of human consumption dates to more than 30,000 years ago when it appears that wild oats were ground into a porridge like oatmeal. Ancient Greeks and Romans knew that oats were edible, but the grain was typically only eaten by animals and peasants. Oats are fairly low in calories and a great source of soluble fiber, which has the ability to soak up water, helping you feel fuller. Oatmeal may also help release satiety hormones and delay the emptying of the stomach. Point seven, try to choose plain, unflavored varieties in order to avoid excessive added sugars. You can top oatmeal off with fruit or nuts to make them more satisfying and boost their nutrient content. Number two, avocado. Avocados have ancient roots and had an important place in Mesoamerican people's diet, mythology, and culture. It's possible that they were eaten in the Tehuacan Valley of what is now central Mexico as long as 10,000 years ago. The avocado is unusual in that the timing of the male and female flower phases differs among cultivars. The two flowering types are A and B. A cultivar flowers open as females on the morning of the first day and close in late morning or early afternoon. Then they open as male in the afternoon of the second day. Number one. Beans and legumes. Legumes are an excellent source of plant-based protein as well as fiber. Half a cup provides 7 grams of protein, which together with its fiber content, 6 grams, makes for a satisfying, filling food. Point 11, they also promote the feeling of satiety, which in the long run helps to maintain a healthy weight. Consuming beans regularly benefits our health in many ways. Try them in salads, sandwiches, soups, stews, or pureed into dips. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.